that's the same thing that happened to me because I also have thalassemia. And so oh, do you really? Yeah. Oh, you and can join my study then. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so, trying to study this. So I, um, what was it? I was anemic. And then once I started using cannabis, but at the same time, I was also working on fixing my leaky gut because with all the autoimmune issues and then the long COVID, the leaky gut is the thing, is the problem. So I've got to fix the, the my intestines. And as I, as I improve my intestines, the rest of my health improves because now my body is getting the nutrients that it needs. And so, but of course, activating the endocannabinoid system, I'm sure was absolutely critical because before that, right, I was teaching, <laughs> I was not, I was afraid that if I use cannabis as a K through 12 educator in Arizona is CBD, cause I have horrible tendonitis. I was worried I would have <clears throat> my license taken away. So I, it, but at the same time, I would not have painkillers because of pharmaceutical trauma from when I was a teenager. Um, and so I absolutely was just like, well, what am I going to do? And so the option was, was I'm afraid to use cannabis because I'm going to get my license taken away, but I'm definitely not going to go on opiates or any other painkillers because then I will be addicted for life. So I just was just like putting it up with the pain every day. Sometimes at night I would cry because I would be in so much pain. And so when I saw the exit ramp, when the pandemic started out of teaching, that's when I first started using cannabis and I was taking gummies and it was just CBD and it was isolate. It wasn't you know, it, it wasn't what full spectrum, it's, you know, even broad spectrum, it was just isolate because I was so afraid, even though we were at home, I still didn't want anyone to know what was, what I was doing. And so, um, I tried the gummies and I tried the topical and it worked for maybe 20 minutes. It was not long lasting relief. You need to have the full cannabinoid profile in order to get that relief. And so as I started to become more and more comfortable and I was leaving teaching, then that's when I started to embrace, you know, more THC and making sure that there's a good ratio between the CBD and THC. And then that's when I saw lasting health. But then of course, the side effect of that was that other systems of my body started improving, right? So um, up until I had COVID, I mean, I couldn't believe that my health was improving. This is the healthiest in my life I've ever been. And I'm still pretty sick. <laughs> like, 